Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Jammers on Tour. I'm Sam and this is... Victor. And we are back for a special discussion episode, a little bit different, um, about the fixtures. Obviously the fixtures came out on um, Thursday. We've got the uh, the paper here with all the fixtures. So we thought we'd sit down, have a little chat about the fixtures because it's getting very uh, soon now to when the season starts. And at the end we'll talk about... Uh, what we think Argyle will uh, finish in the league and who our favourites for promotion and relegation are. So good to see you, Rich. Good to see you, yeah. Sam. Uh, obviously, one more week to go until pre-season starts. We'll be there at uh, Plymouth Parkway, which we'll be have on the vlog. So should we get to it, Rich? Definitely, let's get to it. So we're going to go month by month, have a little just chat about what we think about each month, and then at the end we'll uh, just briefly talk about how we think the season will go. So, Rich, July. One game in July. Never <laughs> usually a game in July, but... Uh, because of the World Cup obviously starting early. Does it get bigger than this one? Barnsley at home. Yeah, a, a newly relegated team on the campuses. So yeah. then a lot of time managers only deck back to the campuses. Yeah, managers. I mean, those are the games that you probably look out for. So to have one of those first, in my eyes, is good because I don't want a boring game like, no disrespect, but like someone like Accrington or something at home, not going to bring in a crowd, is it? But Barnsley at home, a team that are expected to do well, should be a big crowd for the first game. Should be, and yeah. fantastic away support as well. Yeah, they're, 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 you know, they're going to be up for it. Um, so, you know, it's going to be tough, but I'd rather play someone like Barnsley at the start of the season before they can gain momentum. A little bit like when we played Sheffield Wednesday at the start of last season, you know? Yeah, we talked them out as well on that too. So, that's July. Then going into August, quite a few games. We've got Fleetwood away, Peterborough at home, Charlton away, Forest Green, Rovers away, and Bolton at home. And Peterborough in the Carabao Cup. In the, in the Carabao Cup as well. So, again... Fleetwood away would be one where you hope we could maybe go and get something. on that one. Then second home game in a row in the league, Peterborough again another relegated side who I actually tipped to do really well this season. So I think that'll be another tough game. Peterborough will not be easy at all. No, in Vaseline and top of town back and in top of the world wonder and Jordan Dart are still play for them at the moment. That's it, yeah. And then Charlton away always a tough game. You obviously we saw that last season. I expect them to be better this season. And we're a new manager in Tor, yeah. Ben Tarn and now, so... That's it. Forest Green and Rovers, again, and a team that you just don't know how they're going to do. That's going to be tough. The but... first newly promoted team we've played. Exactly, yeah. And then again, Bolton at home. Three teams at home at the start of the season that I think will be near the top. I know Bolton didn't have the best season last year, but I do think they'll improve. So, I reckon Bolton will yeah. improve a lot. If that's the end of the second half of last season, I thought they were yeah. the best team in the league then was. That's it. So again, another tough month. Now... In the World Cup, we always talk about the group of death. For me, September is the month of death, Rich. Yeah, and not <laughs> easy, though. No. Whew, take a deep breath. Derby away, Sheffield Wednesday at home, Oxford at home, Portsmouth away, and Ipswich at home. Does it get harder than that? It do not get any harder than that for I mean, Derby away. I think Derby, although they're a bit unknown, obviously Rooney's just announced he's left. Uh, you know, we don't know what they're going to have money-wise, but, you know, still Derby, isn't it? I think yeah. it's going kind to... Of, the big tough. name of Derby, and I do yeah. reckon they do want to be about over 35,000 Derby fans do support them. Yeah, of course they will be. They're, they're, a big, they're a big club. They did when they were at the bottom of the championship, didn't they? Yeah, they're yeah. always supporting them now. Sheffield Wednesday at home now. For me, that they are, for me, the favourites to win the league. They made two big signings, didn't they, in the week? Mike Dunmeth and uh, Mike Tewintindi. Is he, was he from Rotherham as well? Both Rotherham, yeah. yeah. They've got money to spend and, and a point to prove in my eyes, so... And the then, uh, to be honest, uh, signing Marley wrote a whole city. Yeah. Two hundred thousand pounds. That's what I uh, it top potatoes though. So several Bendy team is like Don and Don in my eye. It is, yeah, they are gonna be good. And then again, Oxford at home again, a team that were in the playoff positions, sort of fighting for it like we were, gonna wanna be out for revenge for us. Uh lack tap activities this season, but yeah. and then selling Marson main player to to Burnley today for one point six million pound Luke. McNeil. Yeah, so here you go. And then Pompey away, which is never an easy game, you know, a bit oh. of a grudge game. And then Ipswich at home, again, another side I think is going to be at the top. So, whew, for and me. And probably be another Paul Mariner in the day, I like to. So probably. To keep it going for Mariner every yeah. season, I like that feeling. So for me, that, that those first few games, how many games are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 11 games in, and we're playing so many teams at the top. But again, if we want to be pushing for um, playoffs, etc., we can, you know, come out of those two months, you know, reasonably unscathed. Great start. Even for the if season. you don't win everything, no, we try won't. not to yeah. lose. Yeah, that's it. So if we get a point in some, I'll be well happy with that. Yeah, I think for now, Rich, we'll just go through the month a bit quicker, but we'll go yeah. through the highlights of the month. So yeah. October, Wickham away, 
Always tough. We know we don't like that. <laughs> we'll just move on from that one. Uh, Accrington at home, Milton Keynes away, Bristol Rovers away, Shrewsbury at home and Exeter at home. So <laughs> two big standouts there for me. Bristol Rovers away, followed by uh, a week later at home, Exeter City. First time, I believe, playing Exeter at home since that so, 3-0, was it? Uh, I think that 3-0 win, yeah. Forever ago, obviously, COVID. Uh, we were going to have that massive game on, but obviously COVID came just that day, that literally locked down <laughs> announced that day. So that is going to be a massive game. Can't wait for that Exeter at home. A hard fan, they're not yeah, for it. 29th of October, one to watch out for. Definitely going to be a sellout, and hopefully we can uh, exert our dominance on them. So Definitely. October's a little bit of a nicer month, but a few tough away games there. MK Dons, Wickham, Bristol Rovers, never easy. So not too, um, you know, as difficult as the first few, but hard still. Three points against Exeter would be nice, though. Oh, it definitely will be. November, you've got actually two rounds of the FA Cup, so we could potentially be playing two FA Cup games in November. Um, and then in the middle of those, Lincoln away and Burton away. So we're not actually at home, potentially, all of November. No, so unlikely, unless we don't look in there, picked up. We could actually be, uh, so we could, our last home game against Exeter, 29th of October, we might not be home until the 3rd of uh, December. Yeah, it could be, yeah. That's an interesting one, actually. December the 3rd, Port Vale. Was that, England could actually be playing in their first knockout game of the World Cup, so I predict that if the crowd, the crowd there could be very low if England are in a knockout game. I reckon so, yeah. yeah. It depends what and what timing they're on as well. Yeah, it could, well, England been, are due to play at 3 o'clock that day if they win the group, so... Yeah, and if you've been accepting it, yeah. be late, but we'll have to see what happens on that one. So December, obviously, Port Vale at home, Cambridge away, Morecambe at home, Cheltenham away, and Wickham at home. So, again, away on Boxing Day. I can't believe it. My birthday, again, we're away to Cheltenham. Second year in a row, very annoying. Uh, no, it been a bit to wonder when we played Liverpool in the every day the yeah. last time we were at Yeah, home. six years. So, a sixth year at, uh, away from home on Boxing Day. However, we are at home on um, the 29th against Wickham. Never enjoyable. Uh. Going into January, New Year. We are home on New Year's Day against MK Dons. Hopefully not a repeat of uh, <laughs> no. last time. That's uh, fine, though. Away okay. to Accrington, away to Ipswich, home to Cheltenham and home to Derby. So, a massive game at the end of January uh, there. That, the one I don't wait for, Derby. I have never seen Derby play before, no. properly. So. That'd be good. And I reckon by then that we'll, they'll be a bit more settled as well. So, we should be good. You alright, Sonny? Come in for the chat as well. <laughs> So, again, a very tough month. You know, MK Don, Zip Switch, Derby, going to be tough. And might be an FA Cup for a one if we do in the FA Cup for the time away. That's it. Now, February, not looking nice either. Wednesday away, Portsmouth at home, Oxford away, Fleetwood at home and Peterborough away. So, some tough sides, mainly Three away Three off the five, no, four off the five team that month. It's going to be tough. Anyway. It's going to be tough. So, this league's looking really tough this year, <laughs> isn't it? Look, take, take a time to look through each... Month, there's no easy month, is there? No easy month no. in football, nothing easy. So, you know, some good games there. Going on into March, Charlton at home, Barnsley away, Forest Green at home, and Bolton away. So, again, Barnsley away, Bolton away, two long, tough trips. And Shelton at home, I will not be easy. No, again, massive. So, hard month in March. And then April, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in April. <laughs> I think that's probably squished in from the, uh, you know, just to get those games in at the end of the season. I think that's 100%, yeah. So here we go, Bristol Rovers at home, Morecambe away, Lincoln at home, Exeter away on the 15th of uh, April, Shrewsbury away, Cambridge at home, and then finishing off with our final home game of the season, Burton at home. So, a mixed month. A, a favourable month for her. Yeah, that, um... I think Bristol Rovers at home is going to be a big crowd uh, pleaser. Exeter away, you know, there's only four games left after that. Could we uh, stick the nail in the coffin for them if they're yeah, struggling? That would be nice. Might be. Yeah, uh, that will be one that we want to get to, but... You know, it's going to be tough this year with tickets over and stuff. Oh, wait. And I have had <coughs> ticket be tough yeah. in the new season, so we, me and Sam have to get lucky on that. Yeah, but the home games don't look too bad, so Bristol Rovers, Lincoln, Cambridge and Burton, definitely, if we're if we're in a, need, if a position where we need to win games to maybe potentially get playoffs, yeah. I think we could, you know, that could help us, couldn't it? Big time, yeah. And then May, only one game in May, final game of the season, Port Vale away. So, again, a game that... You would hope we could go if we needed a result and get something. Yeah, uh, saying that we should be winning, but yeah, what player on the table is uh, a different what the system. It is. So, Rich, those are the fixtures. Um, let's go through what the ones we're looking forward to most. I think we can all agree: Exeter at home in October, Exeter away in yeah. April. Probably big standouts. Is there anything else that you really date? You're really looking at and thinking, yeah, I can't wait for that one. For me, at the Derby Tank, yeah, only in January. That'll be a big one, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. the face of yeah. that as different. And for the Team Rover, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, team I've never ever seen before. Yeah. So last time we went to Spain in terms of children, we never had a chance to watch it. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully this season we've been able to watch both teams at home for. Yeah. I'm looking forward to, I know September's a hard month, but I'm really looking forward to Wednesday at home and Ipswich at home. Always good games. We obviously beat both of those in the league at home last year. Yeah, it's both. Big attempts. 2 1. Yeah. And obviously we can't all, you know, we're all looking forward to Barnsley at home on the first day. Getting back to it proper again. Definitely. Um, as I said, very tough, but should be good. We seven we do not wait for. Yeah. So just to finish the video off, guys, um, we're just going to quickly talk about who we think are our favourites to go up, who may well go down, and then quickly how Argyle will do. So Rich, who are your top two this season? My top two would be Seth or Wendy. Yeah. And I think... Peterborough. Peterborough, yeah. I just think they're not like us this league, they're too much. You think? And then keep doing that and down. They're good at getting out of the league, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Especially Wednesday. I agree with you. I think Wednesday will win the league just because purely money, I think, and also the fact that they've had one season to sort of know what League One's like, and I think they'll be ready for it this year. I agree with that. Yeah. So for me, but I'm going to go different. I think Peterborough will do well, but I think they'll end up in the playoffs personally. I think Barnsley will bounce back. I think it's not, oh no, they're going to have a bad start because they're going to lose to us, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but I think Barnsley, um, for me, you can't go wrong, I think. So I think Wednesday and Barnsley, two local rivals, actually. Definitely. And then playoffs, um, could be anyone. Um, so we won't talk specifically about the playoffs. But relegation, I mean, it's, it's tough. It's, it's hard to know. I think I just would sort of think that some of the teams that went up might go back down. I think Forest Green will struggle. Um, I think... I don't think Derek Adam will finally... Morecambe, yeah. I think they might go down. Um, I'm looking at maybe Fleetwood again, potentially. Never look, they only got a new manager in a top fan, so yeah. he don't really know anything too well. And then there's the you know the same old teams like Shrewsbury, Burton will be in a fight. I think Port Vale will surprise a few and do all right. I think Port Vale will be the surprise yeah. factor. Cheltenham obviously lost their manager, so I, I could see them in a the scrap as well. So Definitely. And after the city, I reckon after they may be around the bottom area. Yeah. I think they'll be right though. I think only just yeah. So that's for me. Now, the all important final question how do you think Argyle are going to do this year? I reckon Argyle will be 10th. <coughs> Mid table? Yes. Yeah. I just feel we're the last of time we're doing at the moment. We ain't getting a lot of fair dominance. No, we've signed um, one player so far. Matt Putzer. Matt Putzer yeah. from Accrington. He seemed to be a relative buff bet, yeah. yeah. But at the moment, we need more bear them and then. But we don't know if we might have Mike the here. Might, yeah, might be and so. Kamara as well, we're not too sure. Kamara, so. well, we It's hard him. to predict at the moment because we don't know the squad. I think if, you know, when the season starts, about a month in, you can really then say, I think Argyle will finish here. But So at the moment, it's just sort of hearsay, really, speculation. Hearsay, yeah. But for me, I sort of agree with Rich. I think some of those teams that weren't very good last year, like Bolton and Wednesday... Um, and uh, the likes of Charlton, even Portsmouth. I think they'll all improve, and I think that will just make it harder for us. <coughs> Excuse me. However, I'd like to think we can still compete and not be in trouble or anything. Nah. But if we can stay around those playoffs, mid table, and then have a push towards the end, looking at those fixtures at the end, it, you never know. Anything can happen. Never know. So yeah. So we're agreeing on that. I mean, about mid table. Yeah, mid table. Yeah. Perfect. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you've enjoyed our little discussion. We just thought it'd be nice to get together and sort of uh, start to think about the season because it's fast approaching. Definitely. So, our plan then is for pre-season. Um, we're not obviously doing every game um, for certain reasons, but we're going to be at Parkway next week, so we'll be vlogging that, and then we've actually got our tickets for Torquay away, which we'll be going up to as well. So, we'll be showing and, those, and you'll be at home for... And I'll be doing Swansea City on two day and night. The Swansea City at home. And I'll be trying to beat you some web fan up <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and then obviously we'll be back properly on the 30th of July for the Barnsley vlog, which we cannot wait for. Oh, we dare not wait. So next week, guys, we'll see you for Plymouth Parkway. We've got our, uh, we're going to be debuting our brand new intro and outro, which we're excited to show you. Oh, all. we dare not wait this year. Yeah, um, so that should be good. So guys, thanks for tuning in to Channels on Tour. I've been Sam. I am Victor. And we will see you for Plymouth Parkway for our first pre-season game of the season next week. Thanks for tuning in. Come on, you green. Come on, you team. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.